Hello and welcome to another KMG video series. My name is Zach Kersetter with KMG Academy in Boulder, Colorado. And today I want to take a look at a way to generate randomized baselines using the Melodic Steps Max for Live device. So in previous videos, I've done a lot of random generative stuff, uh, usually with percussion. Um, and I want to take a look at a way to do randomizing and controlling things in a bit more of a melodic way with baselines. So to start off, before we dive into anything else, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and build a basic patch using Operator. You can use whatever synthesizer you want. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I just happen to like using Operator. So we're going to start with the, the default patch here. And we are going to switch up our waveform to be a square wave. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the filter on, the low pass filter, and just turn the frequency down. So it sounds like that. And then I'm going to take this envelope control and then turn it up. And this is going to create a nice kind of plucked sound. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So we're going to start with this as our core sound, but like I said, you can use whatever sound you want. Then we're going to go ahead and check out our Live Packs folder. And within our Live Packs, we should be able to see Creative Extensions. If you don't have Creative Extensions, this is a free pack that Live released a couple years ago. And uh, it's available for download, so just find the available packs, uh, click on it, and Creative Extensions should be one of your options. If you own Live, you should already have this. Uh, this is a really great pack that has a lot of really cool, interesting Max for Live devices that do kind of weird audio effects, some cool instruments in here. And then we're going to take a look at the MIDI effect, which is going to be the melodic steps. So we'll go ahead and add this to our track. Uh, the melodic steps is a step sequencer. Uh, they can have up to 16 steps for controlling octave, transposition, length, velocity, and chance. So octave is going to control, obviously, which octave uh, your note's going to be in. Transpose will allow you to pitch things up and down. Um, and you can choose which key you're in. So say if I want to be in F minor, I can select minor and then choose my root note to be F. Um, length is going to be how long each one of your notes is, and then velocity is going to be the velocity of those notes, and then chance is going to be the odds it will play one of those notes from higher to lower. So each one of these can be a different length. As you can see, my octave is two steps and my transition is three, but we can adjust this to be anywhere up to 16 steps. And then right next to that, we can randomize it, and this is really key here. So we can either randomize these values by a lot by hitting the dice with the five on it, or randomize it by smaller amounts by hitting the two, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and load this up and kind of see what it sounds like. Uh, the nice thing about this is you don't actually need to load up any MIDI information, you just hit play, and it starts sequencing it for you. So say I wanna randomize it. It's gonna randomize just my transposition in this case. You can adjust the chances here. Let's go ahead and pitch this down an octave just to make it a little more bassy. Let's make the length here a little bit longer. And we can go in and start kind of adjusting this to get different results out of it. So already we can get some pretty cool results. However, this wasn't quite enough for me. I wanted to go a little further with it because I wanted to be able to sequence and be able to randomly control not only the MIDI information, controlling things like pitch, but I also want to be able to control values within my instrument. So what I decided to do is I decided to check out in the Max for Live device folder, under your Max MIDI effects, there should be a device called the Expression Control. Expression Control allows you to take an incoming MIDI signal and then map it to different parameters, any parameter you want on any device that you want. So we can choose either velocity, mod wheel, pitch band, aftertouch, or keyboard tracking, and then map that wherever we want. So what I wanted to do is I want to take the velocity, which right now is not really doing anything, but I can randomize that. And I want to take those random velocities and I'll apply them to my filter frequency. So now each time it plays a step, it will randomize my filter frequency for me. I can also adjust the minimum and maximum range. So if it goes too low or too high, I could say make the minimum value 15%, and the maximum value, 80%. So now when I hit play, we can see my filter frequency jumping up and down, which is cool because it's all uh, quantized, it's all sequenced together, and then I can randomize it here to get different results and see what happens. Or I can control it manually. It randomizes 
less more options here. Which again, gets us a little bit more control, a little bit more interesting results out of this uh, with some pretty basic uh, controls. And I think combining the melodic step with the ex expression control is a really cool combination that's been working really well for me. Uh, so from here, if I want to customize this a little bit more, I can maybe take some of the other operators uh, within operator. Start playing with these, play with the course frequency. Kind of like that. See what happens when I play with these controls. If I want to make it more different, I can randomize it some more. We can hear it in context with a kick drum. So the chance is making it random, but there's some of it's kind of random, some of it's kind of not. Um, and you can just keep hitting these random buttons until you get something you like. Uh, just like with when we're dealing with uh, generative percussion and you're dealing with randomness, sometimes it sounds good, sometimes it doesn't sound good, but sometimes it's just perfect. It's exactly the way you want. So in that situation, you wanna make sure you're recording it to audio. So I'm going to resample it by routing the audio out of this track into my spare audio track over here. I'm gonna record enable it. And just hit record, let it record for a little bit, maybe tweak some settings while it's recording and see what comes out of it. And here it all is recording in real time. Maybe I'll adjust it some more. So say I like that little bit there, I like this part at the end. Maybe I'll just loop, let's say these two bars. And we can uh, turn this track off. And get some cool sequence that I never would have thought of otherwise. So try it out for yourself, see if you like it. I think the melodic stuff by itself, um, I've known about for a long time, I've been using for a long, long time, but I haven't, really been integrating it into my workflow recently. So I went back and since I've kind of rediscovered it recently, it's been doing a lot of work for me. Um, so try out the melodic steps, can do a lot, and then combine it with the exp expression control and you can do even more. Another thing I'd like to point out is that uh, by default, we have one option for velocity, one option for mod wheel, one for pitch end, one for aftertouch, and one for keyboard tracking. However, these can any one of these can be whatever you want. So if you wanted multiple parameters, uh, to be controlled by velocity. I could go in here and select velocity from multiple parameters, hit map, and then say map the volume of oscillator C to uh, velocity as well. So you can control as many things as much as you want, and then if you don't like it, just re-randomize it and see if you get something else out of it. So hopefully that's useful for you. Uh, I've been really going a lot into like random and generous stuff because I think it's interesting. I think it's a lot of fun to be able to kind of turn off your brain for a little bit and just make a bunch of stuff and then kind of see what comes out of it. Um, See if you like it. I know there's a lot of people who do a lot of their sound design like this um, and it can be a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Keep an eye out for more videos coming from KMG real soon.